Hello everyone. In this video, I will be showing you a Vedic Maths or method or trick for multiplication by 9 or 99 or 999 and so on. Any number of 9s, okay? Particularly this multiplier. So, I have divided this uh, total procedure into three parts. So, on the in the part 1 that is in this particular video, I will be focusing where we have equal number of digits in the multiplier and the multiplicand. Okay, where that is uh, examples like uh, two digit number multiplied by 99 or a three digit number multiplied by 999 and so on. Okay, one digit multiplied by only nine, four digit number multiplied by 9999 like that. In the in part two, that is in the next video, I will be showing you uh, the procedure where the multiplier has more number of digits that is a single digit number multiplied by 99 or 999 like that or a two digit number multiplied by 999 or 9999 like that examples like mentioned here okay and the one after that that is in part 3 i'll be showing you the procedure for where the multiplicand has more number of digits that is examples like a two digit or a three digit number multiplied by 9 or a three digit number multiplied by 99 or a four digit number multiplied by 9 or 99 like that okay so i distributed this into three parts let's focus on part one in this video now let's uh, look at examples so i'll just show you the first uh, example where we have equal number of digits in both the multiplier as well as the multiplicand okay so first example Let's say we are supposed to multiply 65 multiplied by 99, okay? Both have two digit numbers. So the procedure is very simple here. In this case, what we do is we just reduce 1 from 65. That is, we get the number 64. We write down 64 here, okay? A little uh, uh, on the left of these two digit numbers, okay? And on these place values, what we do is we subtract 65 from 100. Okay, so 99 is being a very uh, the 100 being the base number for 99. We subtract 65 from 100 and we get the number 35. And this is what is the answer for this multiplication. So 65 multiplied by 99 is 6435. I'll repeat it once again. What we did was we reduced 1 from this 65. We wrote down that number 64 here. And for the tens place and the units place, what we did was we subtracted 65 from 100. 100 being the base number for 99. Okay, let's look at another example. Uh, let's say we are supposed to multiply 247 multiplied by 999. Okay, equal number of digits again. So what we do again, similar fashion, we reduce 1 from 247, okay, that is 246. So I'll write down 246 here and then we have three place values here, okay. So what we do is we subtract this 247 from 1000, 1000 being the base number for 999. So subtracting 247 from 1000 we get is 753. And this is our answer for 247 multiplied by 999. Let's look at another example. Suppose uh, we are to multiply uh, 94 multiplied by 99. Okay. In similar fashion, we'll reduce 1 from 94. It will come down as 93 over here. Then we have another two places to fill. That will be subtracting 94 from 100. 100 being the base number for 99. So subtracting 94 from 100, we get 6. But we'll write down it as 06 because we are supposed to fill these two places here. Okay. So 94 multiplied by 99, we got 9306. Let's look at another example, fourth one. Uh, let's say, a four, let's take a four digit number this time. Let's say uh, 4163. Okay, multiplied by 9999, four nines. Similar fashion, we'll reduce 1 from 4163. We'll write it down here, 4162. And then we have four places to fill here now. Okay, so what we do is subtract 4163 from uh, 10,000. Okay, so for doing that, what we 
get is Uh, it will be 5,837. Okay, 5,837. So the answer for 4163 multiplied by 9999 was 4162.5837. The 4162 came by reducing 1 from this multiply, uh, multiplicand and then 5837 came from subtracting 4163 from 10,000. Let's look at another example. Let's take a single digit number this time. It will, this uh, method works for even for single digit numbers. So let's say we are supposed to multiply 8 multiplied by 9. We know 8 multiplied by 9 is 72. But let's try this method. So again, reducing 1 from 8, we get 7. And then subtracting 8 from 10 this time, it will be 2. Okay, 72. This is how we did it. 8 9s are 72. We know that. Let's take another example. A 3 digit number this time. Let's say we are supposed to multiply 168 multiplied by triple nine okay so we reduce one from 168 we get 167 we have another three places to fill here that will be so subtracting 168 from 1000 and we get the number as 832 okay so the answer for 168 multiplied by triple nine is 167832 okay I hope this uh, procedure is very uh, clear to everyone. In this fashion, with a little bit of practice, what we can, uh, such kind of multiplications can be easily done in a matter of just two or three seconds. It's very easy. And uh, the number of digits, uh, even with larger number of digits, the time required is still very less, very less compared to the traditional multiplication method. So I hope you guys will use this um, trick uh, in future whenever you are supposed to multiply with some numbers like 9 or 99 or 999 and so on. Okay. I will show you the uh, part 2 in the next video that is where we have uh, more number of 9s than the multiplicand. Okay. So where we have a 2 digit number multiplied by a triple digit uh, triple 9 number or like that. So I will show you that method in the next video.